Hello everyone. Welcome to session 16 of QA training. In this session, we are learning white box testing techniques. Statement coverage. White box testing white box uh, testing techniques also known as structural or structure based techniques and these white box uh, these white box testing techniques are based on the analysis of the structure of the component or system white box text white box testing techniques use information about how the software is constructed to derive the test cases for example using the structure of the code and the design specification to derive the test cases you can use structure based testing techniques to measure the test coverage here the test coverage is measured as percentage of the coverage items test coverage is number of coverage items divided by total number of coverage items multiplied by 100 for example you have written a program that has 20 statements you have created a test set that covers 13 of 20 statements which means the test coverage is 13 by 20 multiplied by 100 which is nothing but 65% this percentage value helps you determine whether you would need additional test cases to cover the remaining statements the coverage should ideally be 100% depending on the number of system elements to be tested you can cover you can measure the test coverage at various levels they are component testing integration testing and acceptance testing in component testing each unit of code such as a module object or class is tested separately for example if the code contains five functions each of them is tested independently unit testing is typically done by the developers most of the times this unit testing will be done by the developers in integration testing the integrated units of code are tested you measure coverage of specific interactions between the units or modules in the code that have been tested here you can also measure the you can also measure the call coverage of all the modules objects and proces and processors and the final one acceptance testing in acceptance testing the code is tested as a whole the coverage items include client requirements and user and user interface elements as well coverage items could also include business transactions as well statement coverage continuation to effectively measure coverage you can use testing tools testing tools helps create test cases and improve productivity and efficiency you can add code next to each element that is going to be tested for example in case of for each loop when the test case is executed it will also display the code that you inserted and enables you to record whether this structural element has been exercised such type of code is called as instrument code instrumentation can also be used to determine the percentage of elements that have been executed in white box testing 
you need to generate test cases from the code itself so you need to be able to understand and analyze the code that is the reason most of the times this white box testing done by the developer so for this to understand the code for this purpose what we will do is we will make use of pseudo code pseudo code does not belong to any particular programming language rather it is a simplified it is a simplified shorthand version of the source code that typically covers all the important control structures used in the programming sometimes programmers use pseudo code to decide on the design and structure of a program before actually writing the source code this this pseudo code is of two types non executable and executable pseudo code these are there are uh, yeah there are certain lines of code that don't perform an action they are considered to be non executable code statements so whenever if you see few lines of code that don't perform any action they are considered as non executable code statements non executable code includes statement variable declaration and so on these statements are usually written at the beginning of a program and do not return any results and second one executable code statements executable code statements instruct the computer to take a specific action and return a result for example the code for calculating a value such as individual tax is executable code and is usually written between your begin and end constructs we can write a statement on a single line spread it and you can spread it across multiple lines or you can have multiple statements on one line you can also have statements within the statements so here statement coverage helps measure the percentage of executable statements tested by set of test cases measuring statement coverage helps you assess whether testing is complete and thorough if statement coverage is less then you can improve coverage by creating more test cases that's all for this session thank you all